Welcome back to the Cottage Inn Pizza Center. I am your host, Mary Nara. Four more pizzas have been eliminated from Gourmet Madness, and we are down to the final four. We have the barbecue chicken pizza, the price buster, the favorite, and in a surprising turn of events, the BLT beat out the Roma Pesto to make it into its first final four ever. Today, we have brought in Al Fredo, a gourmet guru, to get a fan's perspective on the final four games. Thank you, Mary. Can't believe I'm on the Cottage Inn Pizza Center. Yeah, well, we're very happy to have you, Al. Mary, it's slice to meet you. I've been a fan since day one. I haven't missed a single slice of the game. That is very impressive, Al. What do you think about the game so far? This season has been gourmazing. These toppings have kept me on the edge of my taste buds the whole time. You just never know what to expect when Gourmet Madness is struck. We are all still thinking about that big win that the BLT had over the Roma Pesto last night. Last year, the Roma Pesto was in the final game, and they had a pretty good chance of getting there again this year. However, there was that devastating injury last night when the fresh tomatoes rolled right onto the court. Do you think that injury had anything to do with the Roma Pesto's loss? I knew that Roma Pesto was in trouble the moment they sliced onto the court. Without tomatoes, Pesto just couldn't hold their own. But I will say, the BLT has been making the BLT game all tournament long. They're really a legend in the baking. I agree. A comeback like that happens only every so often. So, Al, you are known as one of the biggest gourmet fans out there, and some people even refer to you as a gourmet guru. I have to ask, what do you do to prepare every year for Gourmet Madness? Well, for me, Gourmet Madness is more of a lifestyle than really a hobby. I take gourmets very seriously. Each time I eat a gourmet pizza, I track the slice, the toppings, the sauce, the freshness, to ensure that I truly can understand what makes a perfect gourmet bracket every single time. And I'll tell you right now, it is delicious. Wow, that is a lot of research. It sounds like you are a little bit of an expert when it comes to gourmet pizzas. So who do you think is going to take home the gold this year? Oh, the barbecue chicken, of course. Okay. It's my all-time favorite gourmet. It's a perfect full-court press on my taste buds every single time. Not only is the barbecue chicken my favorite to win and plays hard all the way to the end, win or lose, it always has a slice in my heart. Well said, Al. Thank you so much for coming on the Cottage and Pizza Center today. It's really great to hear from a true gourmet guru. Thank you. And don't forget, go barbecue! Thanks for tuning in to this week's broadcast. This weekend, we have the final four games. We will be back on Monday, April 8th, to talk about the 2019 Gourmet Madness Champion. Until then, I'm Mary Nara.